When I was growing up, the issue of honor was, I was aware of it. And that word actually uh, meant quite a bit to me. Uh, you know, part of my role in life that I learned early in life and one of my principles that I adapted was to honor God. But also to honor my father and mother, my earthly parents, was very important in my family. I did not want to besmirch the family name, so I stayed out of trouble. <laughs> you know, you didn't want to embarrass yourself in the community, so you did the right thing. And so I didn't get caught up in a lot of bad things that were embarrassing to my any bad things were embarrassing to my family. It was just important to live that way. Uh, I think the culture back then put around us uh, a more accountability about our behaviors and that this idea of doing the right thing and being honorable was just much more uh, apparent in the culture and I think that was part of the glue that held us together. We've changed so rapidly now, I think that the role of the church and the school and the home in shaping values has uh, declined uh, in our modern society and I feel like it was time to remind ourselves that leading with honor and living with honor uh, is the right way to go. It's good for our culture, it's good for our society. It's the best way to lead because it's about being, it's about valuing others, it's about humility. It's not just about power, it's about humility. And leaders that have humility and strength, everybody wants to be with them. Not every, we don't want to be with those that just have the strength, but they don't have humility because they'll abuse their power and take advantage of it. But if they have strength and humility, we're attracted to them. As long as they've got a vision, we're ready to go to work and go with them. So I think leading with honor is a, a powerful concept, and especially for our time when honor has kind of fallen by the wayside, and we hear about it so often in our headlines every day.